Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you everything you'll need to know before playing Bloxburg. Now these tips aren't just for brand new Bloxburg players, they're for everyone who plays Bloxburg. I'm almost certain that you'll learn something new in this video, so let's get started. So when you start playing Bloxburg, you're definitely not going to load in to a massive mansion like this. Instead, you're much more likely to see this, or more correctly, like this. As you can see, everything looks like a cheap plastic texture, and when you first join Bloxburg, it is probably going to look like this. Everything looks so basic and plain. Not just your house, but look at the whole map. Everything is so smooth, but not in a good way. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is as soon as you join, click options, click advanced settings, scroll down, and change your object quality from low to high. It gives you this message, just click yes, and then reset your character, and everything is gonna look 10 times better. Like, look at the textures that are all in the house. But with that simple tip out of the way, let's move on. Once you've settled into your new home, you're going to want to get a job. So if you're new, you might not know which job is best. And even if you've been playing for a while, you still might be unsure. But most definitely pick delivery person. Not only do you get this beautiful uniform, but this job also earns you the most amount of money the quickest. And of course, that's the most important thing when getting a job. And not only that, but this job can actually be quite entertaining. Some may disagree, but you get to explore the map, which is really good when you're new, while making money. Now, of course, you're not going to start at level 50. You're going to start at level 1. But at level 1 at pizza delivery, you start earning $40 per pizza. Whereas if you were to start working as a hairdresser, for example, you would only be earning about $14 per hairstyle. So Pizza Planet is a lot quicker. Plus, it's the only job where you gain two level ups per delivery. And that takes me on to my next point. Game passes are a really important part of Bloxburg. As you can see, there's nine in total, but only eight are available. And that's every Game Pass except Stereo. Because Stereo Game Pass was taken out, so I would advise you not to buy a radio. Anyway, the two Game Passes that I recommend getting if you're going to get any are Advanced Placement and Excellent Employee. Excellent Employee doubles your earnings and makes you level up twice as quick. And it's relatively cheap. Advanced Placement means you can place objects anywhere and it makes building so simple. So if you're thinking about game passes when you're new, definitely get these two. So let's say you just got your first paycheck and you're so, so excited to get your first car. You're going into vehicles and let's say you want to buy this one. Of course, when you're new, you would not have $100,000. So after you've bought your first car, you're going to be broke again. Please do not go and buy a car straight away. You might think it's necessary to be able to go and drive around the map. But trust me, you're going to want to save up for a new house before you do anything. A house is the most important thing in Bloxburg. So rather than wasting money on a pointless car, always save up for your first house. And a really easy way to get quick money is delete your starter house. This might seem obvious, but honestly, so many people forget to do it. And as you can see, you get $5,000 for deleting this. And just like that, you've made 5000 so as a new player, you're wondering what to build. Should I build a house or maybe I should build a cafe? That sounds exciting. No, do not build a cafe as your first building in Bloxburg. You will be quite a low level working and it's going to be very hard for you to afford this. But even when you can't afford the cafe, you would have just wasted your money. Because like I always say, you're never going to make the money back that you spent. Building a cafe is a cute thing to do in the future once you're settled down in Bloxburg. Now, I know it sounds very serious, but it's true. You do need a house in Bloxburg. And then move on to building cute little cafes like this. It's just saving you money and time in the long run. So now that you've decided to build a house, let me give you some tips for this. First of all, do not just try and start placing random walls everywhere with the most ugly colours. Instead, hop over to Google and look up Bloxburg house ideas. So as you can see, most of these are speed builds. But if you can't find any you like, just look up Pinterest houses and you're going to find so many cute homes, which you can easily recreate in Bloxburg. But of course, I'd advise doing a small one to start with because you're not going to have the skills when you first joined. But if you're a more experienced player, then Pinterest is definitely a good place to get some real life house ideas, which you can then build in Bloxburg. But for the new players, I thought I'd give you some very, very basic building tips. I'm not the best builder, but I can build a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to transform this wall, which you might have built for the front of your house, for example. First of all, add some indents in the walls. By that, I mean put some bits further forward than the rest. Next, 
Pillars are such a good way to add detail to a build. Now you can add pillars like this on top of one another, or you can get a regular size pillar. Press the resize button over here and make it as tall and as wide as you want to. Something that's obvious is to color the walls. Now the best colors in the game are the grays and the greens and the light tones. And good materials are things like wood and marble. But with that in mind, you can also mix match colors like this. Then the last tip is to use something called wall trims. And then of course, you're gonna add the windows and doors in. And as you can see, we've gone from a boring basic gray wall to this really detailed house front. Now, of course, there is many things you can do to make it look a lot better. Like I said, I'm a very bad builder, but this is for the very, very beginners. It's just an easy way to make your house look nice. Now, another fun activity to do when you've just started playing Bloxburg is to level up your skills. As you can see, I've leveled up all of my skills and it really doesn't take that long. For example, if you want to level up music, you just go and sit on a piano for a long time and it's going to make your skill go all the way up. But if you want to really multitask, then you can actually read a book, which is going to get your intelligence skill up at the same time as playing the piano. And that way you can be a real multitasker and you're going to look like a real pro by having a lot of trophies. People are going to think that you have been playing the game for longer than you have. But not only that, you get a whole list of trophies for maxing out each skill. Now this tip is very important for the beginners. Do not let a random person build your house. You might have somebody come up to you on the street like this and say, hey, I can build your house for you, just give me the money. They're probably gonna do one of two things. One, run away with all your hard earned money, or two, build you a rubbish house. And on the same note is that do not donate random strangers in the street. When you're walking across a public server, you'll see a lot of people begging. Of course, I'm in a neighborhood right now, so I'm the only one on, but most people play in public servers. Do not donate to people. It sounds really mean, but a lot of the time they're just faking it because they can't be bothered to work. Now, if you're getting bored of working, then you can go and do role plays alongside it. So you can go and visit people's towns. You can go to restaurants and cafes, or you can just explore the map. There's so many fun things to do on the side of working. Make sure you don't make yourself bored by working all the time, although working is still important. Now I'm only gonna mention this next one quickly because I've spoken about it before. When you're new to the game, you might be tempted to go and buy money. Please do not do this. As you can see, it's incredibly overpriced at 6,000 Robux for only 500K. I know when you're new, that might sound like a lot, but please just work instead. Because now, if I wanted 500K, I'd literally have to go to work for about two hours. Please do not waste your money on this, just work. And the last thing I want you guys to do when you start playing Bloxburg is have fun. I know that sounds so cringy, but it's true. Play Bloxburg because you enjoy it. You enjoy the building side, you enjoy the role playing side. Play it because you love it. And once you've been playing Bloxburg for I'd say a couple of weeks, then you definitely can become rich. But there we have it. That is all of my tips for what to do when you start playing Bloxburg. I hope some of these helped you guys and I'll see you all next time.